The first time I ever conducted, I was too young to know how intimidating a situation it really was, and I just had a wonderful time having this music wash over me, and I realized that's where I wanted to stand for the rest of my life. Some conductors are technicians. They can guide you into playing exactly when and how you're supposed to play. Some conductors can perfectly guide you into why to play. Robert is a wonderful amalgam of both types. In a concert, it might seem like the conductor on the podium is just waving his arms around and the musicians are just doing their own thing. He doesn't use many words in rehearsal. He'll do something we haven't seen before, like make some sort of gesture, and we understand what he means perfectly. So much of conducting is really about a study of nonverbal communication. If I were to go like this to you, I think you'd know what I meant. And if I were to go like this to you, you'd know what I meant. If things are going really well, you don't have to move at all. I wasn't used to having a conductor be a colleague so that we actually did it together. That's a very different experience than what I've had before, which is you're gonna do this and this and this and this, and then you get in your straight jacket and you're kind of like, oh. And that is one of the greatest joys of working with Robert Spano. Robert has cultivated what has been termed the Atlanta School of Composers. Living composers playing live concerts with live orchestra. And the people of Atlanta want to hear it. They want to hear a living composer who's sitting there and can run up on the stage. People do recognize me sometimes just going through the day. When I came to Atlanta, my picture was on the bus. There were posters hanging up and down Peachtree Street. There's a real joy interacting with people who care that we're here and that this great art is happening in Atlanta. And that's, that's exciting. I, I love that feeling. I also love it when I encounter people who recognize my face but have never come to the symphony because that's an opportunity to say, first tickets are on me. I was going to say he's well-rounded, but I really hate that term because round things just bounce off of other stuff. I think he's got lots of sharp little spikes. His teaching, his mentorship, his inspiration. He's got lots of pointy little spikes that make impact in positive ways everywhere he goes. I have no idea what he's talking about. But then again, Michael is clinical. <laughs> I came to this orchestra because I thought the people who populate this orchestra are very gifted, creative people who make this orchestra great. And that it's a great orchestra is something I, I mean to leave behind. <laughs>